Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead hit that like button. Like the content of this channel, man. Go ahead subscribe. It's Ravens Training Camp Day 2. Content going to keep coming. I'm going to try to keep doing this daily, man. And uh, we love talking about Ravens football over here. So that's what we're going to do. All right, start off, man. Um, ben Cleveland failed a conditioning test again. So he didn't practice today for the second day in a row. Um, I'm assuming he'll have to take their uh, conditioning test again tomorrow. Hopefully he can pass it and actually get on the field. All right. So at the podium today was Lamar Jackson, Tyler Bond, John Harbaugh, and I think Justin Houston. But we will talk about the guy Lamar real quick. Let me get some on the field stuff. All right. Lamar Jackson talked about his contract. It sounds like he wants to get paid before the season, um, but he did acknowledge that there was cutoff dates, right? So I'm, I'm assuming that cutoff date is probably the first week of the season. Once the season starts, he probably doesn't want to talk about this anymore. But it sounds like the Ravens and Lamar Jackson are getting closer in their contract talks. They're having them. Stuff is going back and forth. And it sounds like it's, it's moving in a positive direction, if I had to guess. It's all speculation. But coming out of Lamar Jackson's mouth, it seems like things are moving in a positive direction, if I had to, if I had to be honest about it. Um, and that's what we want to hear, man. The Ravens need to lock Lamar Jackson down. And from everything Lamar Jackson is saying, he wants to be a Raven, right? So let's get the contract done. Let's get it locked in. Training camp Bill is the best chance to do it. He's going to be here, going to be attentive. And, you know, it's, it's a deal that can't get done. Um, they asked him about a fully guaranteed contract. He said that he's not going to release any talks about the negotiations because he wants to keep it all in the house. I love that. I love that. Don't don't try to slander the Ravens in the media and the Ravens don't do the same to you. That's beautiful because we can see sometimes contract negotiations get ugly and go south. And that hasn't happened with the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. So that's great. I love to hear that. There was also a question about, uh, well, you, so you see players around the league that are they're not holding out anymore. They're holding in. Guys are showing up and reporting the camp so they don't get fined, but they're not practicing. What do you think about that? And he pretty much said that, you know, he loves football. And he doesn't want to leave his brothers, you know, his teammates, that he won't leave them hanging. So everything Lamar Jackson said was awesome. Great press conference. And he's just showing that he's a leader. Flat out. Lamar Jackson is a straight up leader. So let's get some let's get to some on the field football stuff, right? I didn't hear too I'm gonna be honest, I didn't hear too much about the defense today. I didn't. It was mainly about the offense. And Lamar Jackson in the offense today was pretty sharp, okay? Lamar himself pretty good today man 12 for 17 overall six for nine 11 on 11 drills five for seven and seven on seven um so now some of these incompletions there were five of them they said it were some more drops in there you don't want it we don't want to keep hearing drops 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 it's day two of camp if we keep hearing this next week and on i'll get a little concerned but right now we're going to leave it at that it's just day two okay the one of the, so there's two big notes I took away from well I'm gonna say three three big notes I took away from practice today Lamar was sharp great overall uh, he's looking like a, the the best passer that he's been since coming to the Ravens and we, if you don't anything about Lamar Jackson he gets better and better each year so that's not really a surprise but it's good to know two he hit a back shoulder throw to um, Rashad Bateman when guarded by Marlon Humphrey this is big for two reasons um, more back shoulder throws man. More back shoulder throws and Bateman being the guy that go and getting it. Because Bateman is the wide receiver one. We see this kind of wide receiver one quarterback connection when it comes to back shoulder throws, knowing that I can hit my guy. Even if he's covered, I can give him a chance. And if, and if Lamar Jackson can find this back shoulder throw with emphasis and, 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 uh, and uh, pinpoint accuracy, this is going to unlock a whole new dimension to this Ravens offense, I promise you. Um, they was all, the Ravens are also doing a drill where. It was a tight end drill where the tight end would go up against another tight end, and tight end would be kind of shadow guarding them and forcing a back shoulder throw, right? So it's not like he was playing real defense on them, but he was pretty much playing defense enough to where the quarterback had to throw a back shoulder to, um, you know, get that kind of repetition down. So the Ravens are making a real emphasis at the start of training camp on back shoulder throws, whether it's to the wide receivers or whether it's to the tight ends. This needs to be a part of the offense. This cannot just be a training camp routine, training camp uh, drill. This needs to be an efficient part of the offense. All right. So I love to see that. But player of the day, day one was Devin Duvernay. Player of the day, day two was from my favorite rookie, Isaiah Likely. Apparently, he got behind the defense. Lamar found him for a 55 yard touchdown pass. Um, this is huge in so many senses, right? One, the Ravens need an explosive element. 
And if they can get it from a tight end, great. Um, the Ravens need uh, big plays. Great. Isaiah Likely can provide that. But overall, I want to hear about Isaiah, Isaiah Likely as much as possible because this is going to force the Ravens, it's going to force Greg Roman and this offensive staff to play him. Because if he's making all these plays in practice, you can't ignore him. The Ravens usually have a tendency of trying to bring rookies along slowly in certain cases. Not all cases, but in certain cases, bring rookies along slowly, not really playing them, having the vets in front of them. Now, obviously, Mark Andrews is there, so obviously, Mark is going to stay on the field. But I'm saying Isaiah Likely in some more two tight end sets. He needs to be the second guy. I get it. Nick Ball is here, and even Nick Ball cost a pass yesterday, made some good plays. That's fine. Isaiah Likely is 10 times the athlete Nick Boyle is, even in the best shape of his life. All right, And that's not a slight to Nick Boyle. It's really not. He's a great blocking tight end. He can catch some passes. That's fine. But they want to add an explosive element down the middle of the field. Isaiah Likely needs to play. And if you've been watching my channel, you know, I, since the Ravens have drafted this guy and I looked into him, he's been my favorite rookie. He's been my favorite rookie. Um, so Isaiah Likely making plays. Um, Rashad Bateman making plays. There was even a, um, they said that one, doing one, I guess the 11 on 11s, there was some interior pass rush, and Lamar Jackson was able to do one of his famous sidearm throws to James Prochet for the end of traffic. So it looked like Lamar was just sharp all around today. The offense was pretty good today, uh, barred a few drops here and there. But what I got from today's practice, okay, Isaiah likely needs to be a huge part of his offense. Um, he needs to have a role because he's a talented playmaker who can. Uh, who can have uh, some explosive element from a bigger player. He's a straight-up mismatch. Too big for safeties and um, too fast for, for linebackers that's going to try to guard him, bro. He's a straight-up mismatch. He needs to be on the field. Uh, second thing, back shoulder throws are becoming an uh, uh, emphasis of this offense. And it's one of the ways where even if a guy is covered, if your quarterback's accurate enough, he's not covered. And Lamar Jackson is more than accurate enough to get that pass in there. Um, so that's what I got from day two. Um, so Lamar's press conference was um, interesting and positive. Uh, the office was positive. I haven't seen too many defense updates. That doesn't mean the defense was bad. I just haven't seen them. But when we go on, on these shells and, and shorts kind of days, the offense should play better because it's made for the offense to play better. When we get into pads and, and some light hitting, then we'll see what the defense probably ramp up and pick up. But until then, man, it's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.